In this tutorial, we work through another example in which we find a specific power of x inside a binomial expansion without writing all of its terms. And the example is the one we see here. We need to find the x to the power of 8 term in the expansion of 2x cubed plus 1 over x, all of which is raised to the power of 8. So I'll start by moving this question to the side, like so, and we can get started. The binomial expansion formula allows us to state that 2x cubed plus 1 over x, all of which is raised to the power of 8, equals to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 8 of the binomial coefficient 8r times 2x to the power of 3, which is raised to the power of 8 minus r, times 1 over x raised to the power of r. And to find the x to the power of 8 term, we need to find the value of r at which this general term that I'm underlining now in green corresponds to the x to the power of 8 term. And I usually call this general term tr, t as in term. And I'll just copy it below here. That's tr equals to the binomial coefficient 8r times 2x cubed, which is raised to the power of 8 minus r, times 1 over x raised to the power of r. Now, before finding the value of r at which this term corresponds to an x to the power of 8 term, we need to simplify this expression a bit. In particular, we need to distribute these powers 8 minus r and r across these parentheses and simplify as much as possible. So let's go ahead. We'll start with the middle term that I'm underlining here in gray. We have 2x to the power of 3, which is being raised to the power of 8 minus r. An important thing to remember is that this power will distribute onto each of the two terms that are being multiplied inside those parentheses. In other words, this equals to 2 to the power of 8 minus r times x to the power of 3, which in turn is being raised to the power of 8 minus r. Now this power of 8 minus r distributes or multiplies this power of 3 here. So this middle term turns into 2 to the power of 8 minus r times x to the power of 3 times 8 minus r. Finally, distributing this 3 across those parentheses leads us to 2 to the power of 8 minus r times x to the power of 3 times 8, which is 24, minus 3 times r, which is 3r. And we've now simplified this middle term. We now move on to the last term we have here. That's 1 over x raised to the power of r. And an important thing to realize here is that we can rewrite that fraction as x to the power of negative 1, which in turn is being raised to the power of r. And this power of r now multiplies this power of negative 1. In other words, this last term equals to x to the power of negative 1 times r, which is negative r. Now, using the two results that we've just found, we can rewrite this general term as tr equals to the binomial coefficient 8r times 2 to the power of 8 minus r times x to the power of 24 minus 3r times x to the power of negative r. And now the last thing we have to do is multiply these two powers of x. The reason for this is to make sure that in our expression for our general term, there's only one power of x. And when we multiply these two powers of x, it's important to remember that their powers, or the exponents, are added. In other words, x to the power of 24 minus 3r times x to the power of negative r equals to x to the power of 24 minus 3r plus negative r, so that's minus r. And that leads us to x to the power of 24 minus 4r. Using this result, we can write the general term in its simplest form, which would be tr equals to the binomial coefficient 8r times 2 to the power of 8 minus r times x to the power of 24 minus 4r. And that's the general term of this binomial expansion written in its simplest form. 
Now that that's done, we need to find the value of r at which the general term corresponds to the x to the power of 8 term. And to do that, we need to find when x to the power of 24 minus 4r equals to x to the power of 8. In other words, we need to solve for r the equation x to the power of 24 minus 4r equals to x to the power of 8. And since both sides of this equation are written as powers of x, we can get rid of the x's altogether and solve 24 minus 4r equals to 8. Subtracting 24 from each side leads to negative 4r equals to 8 minus 24. That's negative 4r equals to negative 16. Finally, dividing both sides by negative 4 leads to r equals to negative 16 over negative 4. That's r equals to 4. This result, r equals to 4, tells us that the x to the power of 8 term corresponds to the general term when we replace r by 4. So let's go ahead and do that. The x to the power of 8 term will be t4 equals to the binomial coefficient 8 to 4 times 2 to the power of 8 minus 4 times x to the power of 24 minus 4 times 4. That's equal to the binomial coefficient 8 to 4 times 2 to the power of 4 times x to the power of 24 minus 4 times 4, that's 24 minus 16, which is 8. And this confirms that we're indeed dealing with the term that we were looking for. This equals to the binomial coefficient 8, 4, times 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, times x to the power of 8. So all we need to do now is calculate the value of this binomial coefficient 8, 4. And I'll go ahead and do that on the right-hand side here. The binomial coefficient 8, 4 equals to factorial 8 over factorial 8 minus 4 times factorial 4. That's equal to factorial 8 over factorial 4 times factorial 4. And that's equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times factorial 4 over factorial 4 times factorial 4. We can now cancel out the factorial 4 on the numerator with one of the factorial 4s on the denominator. And that leads us to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 over factorial 4, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We can simplify this. This 3 times 2 is 6, which cancels out with the 6 on the numerator. And this 4 can simplify with the 8, which leaves us with a 2 on the numerator. So this equals to 2 times 7 times 5. Finally, the binomial coefficient 8, 4, equals to 2 times 7 times 5, which is 70. Now that we have this result, we go back to our calculation and state that it equals to 70 times 16 times x to the power of 8. And 70 times 16 is 1120, so we can state our final answer as the x to the power of 8 term is t4 equals to 1120 times x to the power of 8. And that's the final answer we've just found the x to the power of 8 term without writing all of the terms of this expansion. And that's it for this tutorial.